Welcome back to the four to five, everyone. If you take a look around downtown Greensboro, you will see some development and change yeah, in the area. We were just down there today, Tahitia and myself. Everywhere you look, there's another parking deck, maybe some construction going on, a lot of development. Absolutely. It leads us to the big question then, what is the overall plan or outlook for the city of Greensboro? So we invited Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn and Downtown Greensboro Incorporated President Zach Matheny to, to talk about it. Thanks for coming in, guys. Appreciate it. Very nice to be here. Thank you. Let's start with, uh, we'll start with the obvious, which is Tanker mm -hmm. Center. And we're closing in on this. How is can you give us an update a little bit on construction, everything on time, and then your initial response to ticket sales and how this is going to affect us economically? Well, everything is right on schedule. It's due to open in March. You can see the windows are going in. The electronic billboard is up. Ticket sales are really brisk. I was giving Matt Brown a hard time for <laughs> booking the prices right, and then he said, well, it sold right out. So, you know, he can go ahead and book it again. But we've got quite a few things already um, on Ticketmaster and sales are very brisk. You know, they anticipated or we anticipated we'd love to get 6,000, 7,000 pre-ticket sales. Mm -hmm. We've over 15,000. That's awesome. Uh, wow. And to put that economic perspective, downtown Durham, who we compare ourselves to often with the Performing Arts Center, they had four restaurants before the DPAC went up. Now they have 51. Wow. Goodness. So we expect a lot of things. Is Greensboro ready for that kind of development? Are we prepared to take all that on? I think we are. Uh, uh, we and are I think we're process. looking forward to it. We are. I mean, you know, we, we're doing a 10-year strategic plan now, and we have an online survey at downtowngreensboro.org that folks can, can play. I think we're being thoughtful in it with our planning, and so I think we're ready. Perfect. All right, we also want to talk about East and Northeast Greensboro, a big push for development there. What's the latest with that? Well, um, you know, Trader Joe's finally opened up. So, you know, we now have the Trader Joe's, Sprouts, and Publix. People were very happy about that, that they opened up over the um, last couple of weeks. We are getting development throughout the city of Greensboro, which is very exciting. Um, we are making a concentrated effort to make sure that there is development in East Greensboro. And just last week, we made an announcement that the battery manufacturer, Sunlight Batteries, and this is their first development in the U.S., and that is opening in East Greensboro. And that is just one of many announcements this past year. I no. think the mayor's holding back. I think you'll hear <laughs> something in the near future that yes. she may be able to talk about. But yes. also Rev Mill, Revolution Absolutely. Mill, Proximity yes. Mills. Yes, the, that is going to be a great development of affordable housing that will open up hopefully by the spring. So we take a look at what's happening now, but we also want to look to the future. And Zach, you mentioned the Vision 2030 plan, but also getting the people of Greensboro involved in how they want Greensboro to look in the future. Why open it up? That the whole point is, you know, everybody that I come across who are at time, they want a seat at the table. Well, you got a seat at the table. It may be at your coffee table, your desk, but all you got to do is go online at our website and give us your opinions. And it's really important because this is a community-based plan. It's not DGI's plan or Zach's plan or the mayor's plan. It's a community plan. And it's important to get as much feedback as we can. And with that set being said, we're working on our comprehensive plan, which is citywide. And as well, people can go on the website and still have their voices heard. We've been working on this for over a year and it will affect the city as a whole. And we have been going out for over the past year to get people's voices heard. So I would encourage everybody to go on the city's website and look at it and you know let us know what you like what you don't like yeah the feedback is so important i know you it ask is. for it all the time and some people just don't do it i'm telling you it really is valuable for all of us to take just a minute just to let them know what you're thinking that's the only way you get your voice heard so and we actually use it yes I mean, that's how we develop what the city is going to look like thank you guys for coming in we absolutely appreciate it. all yeah. right we're going to take a short break but you know we're always chatting with you on facebook and on youtube so keep those comments coming again thank you so much for being here we'll see you thank you